Hey guys, what's up? Tepper's are here. I'm going to be trying a new camera angle today. Tell me how you like it. Um, I know just having the camera in the same spot for the past like five or six videos is kind of boring. Uh, especially when I watch it, it kind of seems you know kind of bland. Got to change it up a little bit. I am saving up for a new GoPro. It's like three hundred and some dollars. So right now I can't afford to spend on it, but I am going to save up and buy that so I can move around and not be in the same you know room doing the same well, not the same videos, but you know just the same scenery. I want to change it up a little bit. Maybe do a day in the life and go around the park or whatever. Go outside. Um, because right now with my phone, I just can't do it. My phone broke, unfortunately. Um, if you guys have a Windows phone, I would just trade it in. And if you guys don't have a Windows phone, I suggest you never buy a Windows phone. Um, the only reason that I got it was just because I have a Windows 8 PC, a Windows 10 now, and then I have a Windows 10 uh, tablet, and now you know I have a Windows phone. So everything connects. Whenever I get an Xbox message, it you know comes up on my PC and my phone. Um, so everything just connects. So it's like really convenient for me. Um, but only like the three percent of the population buy Windows phones. Everyone has like an iPhone or an Android or you know something like that, iOS. Um, so I do not suggest getting it. Really quick, hold on. Okay, that's better. But today I wanted to talk about something. Do a little story time. Um, see how you know the series goes out. Just you know share things in my life that have happened, happened in my life. Um, and the, what we're gonna be talking about today is sixth grade camp. Now this was when I was 11, so it's been a little over a decade um, since it's happened, and it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life. I know a lot of people have had good experiences at Sixth Grade Camp. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have Sixth Grade Camp where you live, but uh, I live in Southern California, so um, in the school district that um, where I live next to, we'd have that every February. Um, I think it's in, like President's Week, or it's either. A week, I think it's a week before President's Week, before we get a week off for President's Week. Um, they take us to Sixth Grade Camp, which I think is like up in Big Bear or somewhere around Big Bear. Um, and it snows a lot. When The bus takes us there and we get out. There's snow everywhere, chunks of snow and everything. And it's just a week of experiencing the camp life without technology. Um, you know, going hiking, having campfires, all that stuff, living in a cabin. Um, so we get there. There's a cabin for guys. There's a cabin for girls. Um, and we all have our, you know, bunk beds, um, and everything, so, um, the inside of it looks, you know, like a run-down cabin and stuff, so we get there, the, the person that's leading our, you know, group and stuff with the boys, um, just talks to us about what's been going on, then we go to the meeting area where we sit on, you know, these, like, really long, uh, logs or whatever that are hollowed out, we just sit on those, so the, um, the counselor just talks to us about what's going to be going on, and um, so after that, it's just pretty much like orientation. You know, try to get a feel for the campsite and everything. Uh, there's chunks of snow everywhere, and uh, it's really cold. And we're just you know chilling, talking. Uh, that was back when I played Yu-Gi-Oh. So my friend and I um, brought our Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so we wouldn't be bored out of our minds the whole entire time because I w I didn't want to be there. He didn't want to be there. But if you chose not to go to sixth grade camp, then you'd be at school all day. Just, you know, doing homework that you haven't finished or just doing whatever, being bored uh, by yourself. And it'd be kind of embarrassing. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to go. Uh, it's better than sitting there all day in class where I feel like I'm in a jail cell. So I didn't want to do that. So I was like, okay, well, I'll go for this week. When I come back, have a week off um, to catch up on my gaming, you know, all that. Um, so the second day, so first day was kind of easy. Didn't do too much. But the second day, uh, we went on a hike, um, which was... Pretty much the worst experience I've ever had. Uh, but, but now looking back on it, it's obviously funny because of how, you know, stupid I was or whatever. Uh, we go on this hike. There's, like, moss everywhere. It's kind of hard to climb because it's snowy, wet, and all that stuff. So trying try to, you know, watch where I step. It's, you know, if I slip, then I'll be tumbling down and knocking everybody over. Like, I'm a boy walking some pins over um, because I was, in, I was like, the, se the second or third person in the line. And there was, like, there was, like, 12 of us or something. So if I went back, then we would... Um, that I would knock everybody over, and we had this little, we had like a canteen of water, and the way that we shared the water is, uh, we would get on our knees, and somebody, and we would open our mouth, and somebody would waterfall it into our mouth, so it was kind of weird, but that's the only way that we did that, if we got thirsty or whatever, um, so they really, they really focus on, you know, making it realistic, you know, you only have one canteen for everybody. I mean, it was it was a huge canteen, so it wasn't like we were going to run out of water anytime soon, but we went on like a, a few mile hike, um, up the mountain or whatever, and uh, we found this cave. Uh, my friends, uh, we found this cave, 
And they jumped in, and of course, you know, if your friends jump in, you're like, hey, I want to see what's inside that cave or what's going on. So I jumped in the cave, and it was a beautiful view looking out. There was, um, you know, like the cave, there was a cave. I mean, I, I don't know if you want to call it a cave, um, because the only way to get inside is to, like, jump in the cave or go around on this, like, foothold world, like, uh, half of your foot will be able to fit on. Um, but it, it was, you know, whatever. We're 11 years old, so we're like, we'll check out anything, right? So we jump in, um, we, we're in there like five minutes checking out the view and stuff, and if you, you know, if you jump over, you're gonna like fall a hundred feet, so you're gonna die. Um, so they, they jump out, and, and I try to jump out, I was like, oh shit, I don't think I can get out of here. So, this, this fat, this kid that's like fatter than me, less in shape than me, he just jumps out of the freaking K like he's freaking Mario. And I'm just sitting there like, how the fuck does this guy do that? So I, I'm trying to figure out how to, I've never like jumped down in the cave before, and I'm like 11 years old, so I'm like, so how the hell am I supposed to get out of here, right? So I'm like, okay, I got this. I put my hand there, put my hand there, try to get my foot on like a foothold, um, you know, just like if you're climbing a cliff or whatever, like you're rock climbing. And I'm like, well, how, well where the, where the, because I still have to, you know, get a couple more, you know, hold, there's, there's a couple more holes up here for my hands, but I'm like, Okay, how the hell am I gonna get like a, another foothold? So I'm like struggling to climb, and I'm just like, oh shit! And I'm and then I was just like in there for like another five minutes, and everybody's out there like, oh shit, did they leave me or whatever? And um, you know, you're 11 years old, you'd be like, you don't know what the hell's gonna go happen or whatever. And uh, it was like lunchtime, so everybody's out there about me like eating their PB and J. I was like, I was like, everyone's you know, no one's gonna have any PB and J left for me. Everyone's getting my sandwich, and um, I'm just like. I just like yell at the top of my lungs, help or whatever, and then they come down and they're like, they're like you're still down there, they're like yeah, I like how the hell did you guys get out of stuff? And um, so they're just like, okay, come on, just go around here, and we're just when we're gonna help you get out here. And I was like, okay, so there there's this foothold, and it's you know there's nothing holding you, so if you lose your balance, you're dead, which means I'm dead. Um, so there's this little foothold where like, so right here, um. It's like this, and then this. My hand on top is like my my um, foot. So there's like there's bare, It's like that. So like the back of my foot is like hanging off the edge. So I have to really balance it out. Um, but my friend is like grabbing me, so I should be good. And then the person next to them is grabbing them, and we just we just like move. Like it's it's not that much room. So I just like slide and slide and slide, and finally I get out and I have lunch, P M A J. But um. Like, like uh, when I get back from school, it's like I'm still like scared and traumatized from the whole experience. But now, like it's been over a decade, so I'm just like, really, I was like, that's too. I couldn't figure out how to get out of the cave or whatever. But yeah, you know, it's whatever. Um, so that was one bad experience I had at sixth grade camp. But that wasn't that wasn't even the worst part. Um, another bad thing about the camp was that the food was like crappy. Um, one night we had like sloppy joes with like some st the stalest bread that you could find. It was just like nasty. Um, another time we had like. Um, tacos or whatever, it was kind of gross, mac and, like, crusty mac and cheese, um, and then, um, I forget what we had for the other few nights, I think we had, like, burgers one night or whatever, but it was, it was just nasty, um, and then a couple times, uh, a day, we got to play out in the field, there was, like, acres and acres and acres to do whatever, but it was, like, what the hell are we gonna do, we don't have football, soccer, or whatever, so, we're just, like, we're just, like, playing freeze tag or whatever, and then, um, at night, like, we go down to the, you know, assembly area where those logs are, and they just, like, tell us stories or whatever, and they show us, like, the stars, where the Milky Way is, where Orion is, where, you know, Taurus is or whatever. Um, and then we go back to our camps and everything, and, uh, we go to bed, and then we wake up, and the showering situation was like this, um, there was two showers for the guys, and we'd get in a line, and we would have to make sure that we took, like, five minutes shower at the max and everything, um, it was cold. It was cold up there um, in, like, Big Bear, I think it was. And uh, once you got out, you were just, like, your nipples were harder than a freaking rock. It was just, like, really cold. Um, and I think the next day, which was, like, Wednesday or whatever, I think that cave incident happened on Tuesday. First day was orientation. Second day was the hike. Wednesday was... Um, Wednesday, I think we carved wood. And I think I still have it. Yeah, I have it right here. This thing right here, I don't know why I still have it, but uh, we carved wood on the third day. We like sat on these steps and we carved wood. I don't know why I still have it. It's like a souvenir. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I guess I'll use it as a weapon if somebody tries to break in. 
here um, ever. Um, and I think we went on one more hike without me having to, you know, fall in a cave. I don't think we climbed. We just, like, walked, um, you know, through some obstacles or whatever. And the last few days, so, so on Friday, uh, what I can remember is me and this guy, you know, mess around. We're good buddies and stuff. And... And he like he starts throwing like rocks at me. And I'm like, okay, motherfucker, I'm gonna pick up some rocks and throw it at you. And he's like this, um, he's this black guy, and he has like a huge fro. So I'm always messing with him, trying to stick things in his um, fro and everything. So I pick up a rock. It's like a small rock. I'm about to throw it at him. And right as I pick it up, the counselor looks at me like, is like, blah blah blah. You know, go to the office or whatever, because there's like an office and stuff. And um, I guess it kind of worked out because I started to come down with a fever and I was um, sick. So it was like, oh, okay, I guess it worked out that I got, you know, in trouble and sent to the office so I can just chill for, you know, a day or two until they come pick me up. Because I, I, I left uh, Six Week Camp a little bit early just because I was sick. I was, like, really sick. I had a 104 temperature, I think. Um, and I, I was just, like, really sick. And the guy next to me, one of my, one of my other friends, his name was Ben, um, he was also sick throwing up and stuff. Um, so that was kind of nice, you know, every, like, 30 minutes I had to, you know, sit next to somebody who was throwing up in a trash can next to me. So that was really cool. Um, so I slept, I woke up, my grandpa and my mom, you know, picked me up and we went home and all that stuff. So that was 60 year camp, it was kind of bad. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of any bad experiences, just the food was bad, um, that the hikes were horrible, um, the showering situation was bad, it was cold. Uh, other than that, I don't think we did anything else. Um, we just chilled. I think I think we did like a scavenger hunt one time, but yeah, I don't recommend it. If you if you like really want to go, then I you didn't just go. But if you're unsure, I wouldn't go because I was unsure. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how it would have been if I would have stayed at school, you know, for the whole time, man. Um, because it, because it would have been a week of just staying at school the whole time, being bored, just being like one out of three people that didn't go. Um, so that was the time of sixth grade camp. So if you guys ever went to sixth grade camp, you know, comment down below, share your experience too. It was just really bad. Um, I think they could have done better with the food situation and stuff, but it was kind of run down like a, you know, I don't know. They were trying to make it as realistic as possible. Like if you were camping out and stuff, you would have like, you know, shitty food and you know, whatever. It'd be cool. Um, but you know, it was it was an experience and it was whatever. Um, but I have another story for, to tell you uh, in the video that I make tomorrow or the next day, and uh, it's a pretty funny story. So I will share that guy share that with you um, tomorrow or the next day. So if you guys enjoy this series that I'm kind of starting up, you know, hit that like button, uh, subscribe for more videos coming soon, and comment down below. Tell me if you like it. I have a bunch of stories saved up um, to tell you guys, so I think it's you know it'll be kind of interesting instead of changing it up a little bit, other than talking about news or giving you gameplays or whatever. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great Wednesday. It is hump day. Um, so, yeah. Have a good one.